Hey, it's Riggs. Another. Hey, it's Riggs. It's time for another Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh Messerprat just brought us refreshing flavors. Let's talk about the Sun Cruiser Variety Pack and the Captain Morgan Slice Variety Pack. There's lots of drinks to try. Let's do it next on the Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog. Hey, it's the Morning Hog Brew Review time. I am Riggs. That is Josh from SR Parat. He is here with great flavors on a Friday morning hog happy hour. Josh, welcome back. Hello. Hi. Welcome home. Thank How you. How are you? Uh, the crowd is uh, anticipating what is obviously a, almost like a bowling pin set up of cans <laughs> today, right? How, ma- how many bowling pins are in a thing? Uh, there's like 12 or something, but uh, I, I mean, uh, I'll take eight. I'd rather, eight sounds easier to knock down. To be <laughs> yeah, honest that's with fair. Yeah. That's fair. It's a spare. You use a six pound bowl, ball too, I don't do. you? I yeah. do. I do. I, so. I do. I throw it. I don't, I don't even put my fingers <laughs> on the holes. I just throw it. <laughs> just chuck it down there. Yeah, it bounces. Uh, what have we got today? Are, I don't recognize anything that's going on here. Brand today. new stuff for yeah. you, buddy. I love new. Yep. So uh, we're going to start off with, uh, like I said, a brand new product. It's called Sun Cruiser. Okay. So it is a vodka iced tea product. Oh. It's a real vodka. Oh. With some uh, some iced tea in there. Okay. Um, so this is a four or sorry eight pack variety. All right. So we're getting two of each flavor. Yes. Yep. Uh, oh, um, it's like a... So let's start off with. Yeah, that's right. I'm debating here. Hold on. Okay. Let's go with classic iced tea. That'll give us a nice base. Good start. And then go from there, right? Now, you and I are not traditional iced tea guys. Correct. But. Yeah, even being Florida born, born and yeah. raised, both my, my children, every yeah. time I go to a restaurant, they get sweet tea. Yeah. Uh, just not never been my thing. Yeah. But these, the other day, I was at a Hobson Hood's Beer Festival. Right. And I always look for something kind of refreshing and easy to drink because I'm going to be there for, you know, eight plus sure. hours. You got, um, right. And I got to maintain my. Uh, my sobriety right or somewhat anyway sure um and this is what i landed on and okay. they're absolutely killer you know i love it at four and a half uh percent you can uh it gets the job done but it also keeps you okay I like and this. upright so you can put your uh, stamp of approval on this already i like it so these are non-carbonated right okay uh 100 calories oh the other reason i picked them because i didn't want to you know slam 400 calorie beers the whole day that's a good point yeah and one gram of sugar you and I are both working on our beach bodies right that's now, right. so it's probably appropriate that we have the lower cal right now too. And that's no no sugar at all, hardly. Okay, oh, yeah. oh. yep, I yeah. get it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I'm in. I can see why you did this. Yeah, super easy to drink. Um, wow, it's just it's good. <laughs> wow, this has a whole different uh, level of depth of flavor because it's not just tea flavor there's some you know it's well like, they're actually using real tea too okay well, so good. you are getting a, a very nice authentic real tea flavor um with some vodka in there and uh it's you know it's not malt based so it's nice super clean easy drinking um so i'm excited to try i, I don't think i've tried all the other flavors yet so i'm excited to try those um i was drinking the original the whole time right. so okay i'm pretty stoked what is one of the flavors give me one give me a weird flavor now i mean the, we got the base which is the right way all experiments start with the base you know what then you start adding stuff to it let's like do a, a little bit of a, a a half and half okay so we got well, lemonade those. plus iced tea right i do love the arnie even though it's not called that that's <laughs> what i'm gonna call it or the the, the Arn, actor? The, the Terminator? Uh, yeah, yes, of course, yeah. Yeah, the Arnie. Yeah, he just had a pacemaker put in. What? It means he's part robot. He's 76 is, years really? old. Really? Yeah. I was going to say, I know he's getting up there in age. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is their lemonade iced tea. Okay. Lemonade iced Again, tea. Again, 4.5%. I mean, it looks, it, obviously, from the traditional tea, it looks about the same. That's nice, too, man. Oh, but it's got his ass. Right at the end, you get that, that little bit of a tanginess from that, that lemonade. Mm-hmm. God, That's love, two for two right now. I mean, we talked about this last week. I love le- I, lemonade is my jam. Yeah, and it's, not it's just your least it's thought spring. about beverage. It does, right. but I've started thinking about it more. <laughs> now it's like it's moved up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's way ahead of like milk and <sighs> uh, and uh, clamato. It's ahead of those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this is really. I mean, this is very tasty, and the zest of the lemon doesn't uh, doesn't attack you, but it's there. That that product's always confused me. Like, who's the first person? Let's put a little bit of clam juice in my tomato juice. Yeah. Sold. Right. So put it in a can. Yeah. It, it will revolutionize the industry. And somehow it did. <laughs> but I avoided it. Because I wanted this instead. Okay. All right. What's next? All right. So now we're getting into these classic, uh, f- you know, tea flavors, right? Okay. So we got raspberry or peach. What, what, mm. you, what do you want to go with? Well, let's start with the peach. Let's start I, with the peach. Other than the peach state for Georgia. a while. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the peach. 
These are, uh, what's the ABV on these babies? Four and a half percent. Okay. Very manageable. Like you said, 100 calories, one gram of sugar. Um, these may be my summer go-to right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, obviously, I love the seltzers we do and stuff like that, but this gives it a nice little tea flavor that uh, I don't think anybody else is doing. So, it's peach tea. I'm going to say this does remind me of a product. Okay. In, in the very best way. It's like a tribute or something. And it, it's making me, uh, the non I know exactly thing, what you're talking about. Very appealing to me. This is your, your breakfast beverage, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And no carbonation. I mean, I need that. Your body goes when you don't put bubbles in there. It's like, you way to go. I think that's the other reason yeah. for that. For me, that's going to be my go-to is that non-carbonated. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit easier to drink throughout the day and not yeah. be so, uh, you know, airy. Yeah. It's essentially water, but it's 4% and it's much better flavor. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this is quite good, though. And these are, uh, this is the variety pack, so you get eight of these, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. And they do have a okay. single four pack of the uh, the original. All right. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. So you can just go standard. Uh, well, let's try this last uh, delicious flavor before we take a little break. So this is super, super new for us. Um, you may be able to find them in some grocery stores. Uh, but independents are going to be the easiest place right this second. Okay. Or you can always check out our website. Oh, Josh is talking about srprot.com slash beer finder. You should all the go one. there. Yeah, you should definitely head to that. Try these great flavors. And so this is the uh, the raspberry. Okay. Is it raspberry or raspberry? I, you know, I, I've uh, honestly, I, I like raspberry. Right. Just, but then I've really, I enjoy now just accentuating the P in a harsh <laughs> way. If someone does it wrong, I'll be like, uh, it's raspberry. Okay, now this doesn't smell like raspberry. So this is nice because it's not cloyingly sweet like some of those products. No, but no. the raspberry is definitely there. Yeah. It's not tart, but it's uh, it's there. It's I'm a, super happy right it's now. It's a flavor. Me too. You know what? And think about it. And think about our body. How how how's your body feeling? It feels great, right? Yeah. Because it's 100 calories. My knees always hurt. But... Just one. <laughs> Well, <laughs> maybe pour a little on your knee. Yeah. Do it during the break. If I have enough, they stop hurting. That's, that's a good part. That, that's a great point. Yeah, yeah, just have more. Well, that's at 4%. we got a long way to go. <laughs> uh, stick around. More coming up. Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. Rest. 95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog. We're in the midst of a Morning Hog Brew Review. Obviously, Josh Messer Prats here because he's got to bring the beers. Obviously. Or the drinks. And today, we are in the midst of a, a very interesting uh, combo variety pack. That's right. All right. We had some great vodka teas on the front end. Yep. What are these things? You recognize that logo? Oh, it's a captain. It's the captain. Oh, the captain's like in the house. Captain Morgan, right? Okay. All right. So, Captain Morgan's getting into the canned cocktails game. All right. Um, I think we've been waiting a little while for that. Yeah. Know? It seemed, uh, it seemed like a natural uh, progression that he would eventually take some of his great products and stuff them in cans. That's right. Yeah. So, like, Captain Diet's my go-to, okay. uh, especially early early drinks. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I got it. Listen. It's I my gotta, brunch drink. Let's put it that I way. Don't, I'm mad that I haven't spent a full day drinking with you. We have these great segments oh, yeah. for years. We've been doing this. But these are just little microcosms of drinking. And you've told me some stories. So, I feel like if this is your starter, I, I like where the day is Well, they're going. usually secondhand stories because I don't remember. Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay. But, yeah. so <laughs> court, court reports for me, too. Yeah. So, All this right. is Captain Morgan Sliced. Okay. Um, so, it's a uh, 12-pack variety. All right. With different cocktails inside of it. Okay. And I'm not sure where I want to start, so I'm just going to grab the first can that's in front yeah, of me. just get the first one. So we're going to go with the pineapple daiquiri. Oh. Which, usually when I think of a daiquiri, I don't think of pineapple, so right. this is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I like pineapple, so I, I feel like I'm going to love it anyway, but... So these are 5.8%. Okay. These got the real Captain Morgan rum in them? So these are these are malt-based. Well, malt-based, okay. Um, but it's very similar flavor to uh, Captain Morgan. Okay. So it's going to get you there. I'm not particular about that. Well, it smells good, bro. Mm. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. That's really good. Oh, it's like somebody just put, put like a pineapple in a blender and pour some Captains in it. You know what? <sighs> I'm going to have a lot of go-to drinks this summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this whole part of the bikini body that you and I were talking about right. earlier for you and me, where we wear speedos, it's not a big deal. But I'm uh, wearing mine. Now. I don't know. Yeah, are you wearing it now? Yeah, I, oh, I was going to show you after the show. You got to break it in yep. for sure. Yeah, I was gonna. I was. I forgot to wear underwear all together today. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm excited about this beverage though because man, you're right. This is all flavor. Yeah, all flavor. Yeah, I, like you said, straight up pineapple with captain in it, man. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's solid. <laughs> that's really good. I don't know pineapple. I, I think pineapple is my favorite fruit. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you'll prove me wrong. You know what? I'm going to go and agree with you. Okay. Um, yeah. 
we we talked about it in years past. You know, yeah. it's pineapple took a while to grow on me, but now it's uh, mm-hmm. I think it's my favorite fruit. Yeah, I don't care. Berry chart be damned. Sure, let's put pineapple yeah, on the put top. Put pineapple up there. Yes, yeah. thank you. Sorry, sorry, berries. Yeah, don't be mad. You got your whole separate thing right now. It's all about the pineapple. Well, until this drink. Right. So that was pineapple daiquiri. Right? Okay. So this is mango mai tai. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Let me put my pineapple down and get ready for this mango mai tai. Now I know I, I know the drink mai tai. I don't know what's involved in it. I, I really couldn't don't. tell you that either. Yeah. Um, I know that they're typically pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know what goes on a, a mai okay. tai. There's a fruit base. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. You know, well, we might have. These are so fruit forward. It's it's crazy. I'll just say this. If you put a slice of pineapple in this right now, now it's my favorite drink. Oh, all yeah. right. But it's pretty. Mix it, it up. It, it's kind of standing out on its own. Got a mixologist though. over here. Yeah. I mean, the Mai Tai is a combination of fruits, right? There's not just one fruit going on in there. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that out there. If you want to text us at two five seven zero three two four and correct it, fine. But right now, the my time. Do we is, get a lot of corrections texted in on us? Uh, it, I get a fax or two. A lot of yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. People are like, excuse me. Yeah. And it's it's all about me. I mean, your, your <laughs> facts are correct. I just make mine up as I go, and then they get they get disputed. <laughs> uh, but this is great. This is very fruit forward. It's not overwhelmingly sweet, but it's sweet. Yeah, it, it, it's it's just like the classic cocktails. So, um, as far as the sweetness is concerned, yeah. Uh, so, super nice, enjoyable. Not boozy. No. What are these? Especially what? at five point eight percent. Five point eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. The captain wants you to be manageable, somewhat responsible. That's right. He wants you to try all four of these flavors. That's but it. keep in mind, the captain oftentimes has a sword, so that's not responsible. That's true. Yeah. So that don't drink these with a sword. Uh, all right. What's next? You know what? Mm, mm. We're going to go with strawberry okay. Okay. margarita. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. I'll tell you that I had a margarita last week. All right. And I'm still thinking You know about what? It. I had one at Hobson Hoods before did we got really? started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. As a table setter? Yeah, right, be- oh, right wow. after I had my Bloody Mary. They were like, do you want salt or sugar <laughs> or, t- or tahini on the rim? And I went, yes. Uh, all right. I want every one of those I'm things. I'm a salt on the rim. Yeah. Um, my wife does not care for the salt. Yeah. So. Yeah. I was like, just cake that thing up. Make yeah. it look like a dirty diaper. <laughs> I don't care. I will drink right through it. It doesn't bother me. All right. Here we go. Again, this doesn't have like a prominent snout. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. That's good. It's almost like some science here involved right now because now we're seeing that they're, we're getting a flavor of something that doesn't really exist in there. Well, right? so that that's what's crazy is when you look at the can, it's all uh, – you know, come check out the YouTube channel, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, the can itself is blue, uh, pink, and red. Right. It has the word margarita on it, but sure. for some reason your brain doesn't register the lime that's in a margarita. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so when you taste it, you obviously get the strawberry, but you're also getting that margarita base. Uh, so that's very nice. Oh, that's so good. Man. I just, again, I, if we don't get chips and salsa in the next, like, 30 minutes, there's going to be a riot in this. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get to the next yeah, one first yeah. before we get there. Now I'm excited for the chips and salsa. Sure, yeah. I'm trying to... Can we get queso, too? Yeah, is that a... Yeah, let me order. Queso? 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, I didn't say it. I declared it. it. I was uh, ordering through the window. All right. So, last one. Yeah? This is Passion Fruit Hurricane. Ooh. Okay. I can't tell you if I've ever ordered a Hurricane cocktail. I've probably had one. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't tell you what's in a normal hurricane to begin with, but as I was speculating about what's in the mai tai, the hurricane I know is just a mix of everything. Yeah, it's like a it's like you take you go to a fruit thing and you go into like a grocery store and you get all the fruit and you just rake it in <laughs> right into the car. You blend it right in. Um, okay, it smells good. It smells very fruity. Oh, okay. Oh, that's I'm with that too. That's refreshing. Now these are carbonated, but they don't taste carbonated. They're uh... or are they not carbonated? I can't tell. They don't feel it. Not, no, they're not, not carbonated. Yeah, no. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad. Good for them. I don't want carbonated. I kind of like this trend of non-carbonated drinks. Me too. Uh, to be honest with you. Me too. Um, it's a little, little easier on the belly. Right. Um, you know. You ever dressed up as uh, Captain Morgan for uh, Halloween? Not for Halloween, just on like a Saturday. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah when I get bored. Sink on a mile for no right. reason. Like, well, I don't even, it has nothing to do with that. That's fine. I wasn't allowed to use the I had the, the costume. It's cheap. By, by the way, it's cheaper to, to rent the costume in May. Uh-huh. Saying, yeah. So I shouldn't have spent that on buying it. You, bought, you spent a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you spent a yeah, lot a of money. A little embarrassing. I made but... my own. 
Uh, all right, so these beverages are, are new. These are brand new as well. So right. another one where you're, uh, it's going to be easier to check out our website. Mm. Uh-oh, got you mid-drink there. Uh, just a second. SRProt.com slash beer finder. Yep. That's right. Or drink, um, drink finder is what you But, you know, there should be a Publix, Total Wine, uh, local independents, maybe some ABCs out there. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, just check out the website. It's always wow. faster. Wow. What a collection of great flavors. Especially new ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's spring still, but as you ease into summer, you're going to need some new flavors. Right. We got them for you. SR Parat's got them for you. Thank you, Josh, from Absolutely. SR Parat. Cheers. Cheers.